Very cool. Hey guys, it's Adrian here from ASNATME.com. Welcome to this um, very quick tip in ZBrush 2021.6. So basically, it's been long since I shared any um, tutorial, any um, in depth tutorial. So I decided let's just do some of these um, quick tips in ZBrush. Just um, knowing our way around um, ZBrush to increase our workflow. So I have been like receiving a couple of messages from um, from you guys, like stating I should um, be more like in depth, like showing each um, step by step. So I decided li let me just um, do some probably like a series or so, um, just going through all the all the basics and all those shortcuts to help us um, know our way around ZBrush. So basically we use um, ZBrush for entirely all our scopes. So what we have open over here, it's our HD human skeletal system, which we have on our store and we share the entire tutorial, like a time lapse on our channel. So if you haven't checked it out, just go to our channel, check the playlist over there, um, the human computer and to me um, progress we shared um, the entire time lapse with these bones over here so what i'm gonna do i want to show you guys that that's a quick um what we used um for the skeleton so basically they're, they're very high risk they're, they're about like six um 61 million polygons so that's very very large for um, any um game or or vr or ar to work on any web so um zbrush has this very cool feature I don't know when we, uh, it, 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 it was released, but then we used that on um, on most of our, um, basically on 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 all our complete anatomy models. We this dissemination tab has this um, keep UVs and then keep poly paint. So if you if you have like um, sixty four sub tools in one, so then it's gonna take some time to do it one by one. So the you you can also pre pre um, process um, all of them so you can do them all of them at once and then just decimate them at once which I don't necessarily like recommend because each sub tool doesn't have the same amount of polygons so I totally don't recommend that so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna grab let's see which bones should we grab over here let's grab the humerus so if you out click on your object this should select just select an object over here this should se select the um, the sub tool that you have your mouse or your pen or whatever you have your cursor on that object so you press alt or option on your keyboard and then you click right click on, on on your left click on your mouse or wherever and then you you can see we have our humorous selected over here what i want to do well, we're going to work on this one for now so I'm, I'm just gonna hide everything so you can use this um, solo button over here just hide everything so right now we have everything in a low res but what we're gonna do is um, let's go to the high subdivision so press D on your keyboard go to the high subdivision if you if you turn off poly paint you can see the amount of details we're able to capture so we uh, this was entirely hand sculpted we use um real specimens as a reference and we shared our entire process with you guys so if you want to see this you can just check out our channel we have all that for you guys just for free right there so what what we want to do now because this is a uh, high res i press like the poly frame you, you can see the amount of polygons it's about 700 polygons 700,000 polygons that's too much so what we want to do like let's say you you want to do 3d printing or you don't want to bake your displacement or your normal maps but then you you want to retain the details and but then reducing the polygons so we have the decimation tab decimation so if you go to your Z plugins, sorry, if you, if you go over here, Z plugins, you should have this. So I, I, I just drag this over here to the side and then I have that on the side. So I, I can just keep on opening it and clicking over here if you double tap on these arrows. So what we want to use over here, we we want to keep 
keep the, the poly paint that we have um, for our bones but then and also keep the UVs which are very important if we go to let's go to the press F to frame just let me just pan like that so if I go to the lower subdivision um, shift D on your keyboard to the, to go to the lower subdivision and then go down to this our UV panel press um, shift F to show the, the poly the poly um, thing and then turn down this bump over here so we can just see the flat and then click more for UV you see we have all our UVs over here so this we want to keep but then still still decimate everything so let's try it out Let, let's see how it works so shift F let's go back to a high subdivision press D on your keyboard and then let's do this so I uh, make sure you have keep keep UV selected and then uh, use and keep poly um, poly paint selected I normally go with the default the, the 25 so I advise you guys not to change this so what you want to do now is because um, uh, how I normally calculate um, how much of um, triangles uh, when I have on my models I normally see um, okay I have like 700,000 so probably if I do like 75k or 35 this will try to retain that, that details that we have over here so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna press press control shift and D on your keyboard to do a duplicate of this sub tool as you can see over here switching to sub tool switching if you go to your sub tool panel you, you should see this humorous um, number one any or any object you have so what I'm gonna do now over here is just press 35 without talking and then let ZBrush do all the hard work so you, you can see over here it's analyzing the mesh and stuff what it's gonna do now it's gonna look at the detail and then um, reduce the polygon but then try keep as a lot of details as it can so that's how it works over there so we've done this for all our 3d print ready bones that we have so if you purchase a skeleton you you also get like a separate sub to every uh, as you can see over here which is decimated and all ready for 3d printing which are watertight so this is a the the exactly the same workflow we were using to create um those 3d print ready bones that we have um for this for these um skeletal systems now reading um uh, cozy file everything is ready as you can see but yeah we're down to 34 polygons or triangles if i must say so we have two sub over here so if you want to just show one of these let's just hide this if i click hold shift on your keyboard and then click and then you can hide everything but they keep, keep this and then let's open this one over here what i'm gonna do i'm gonna um, click on our decimated um, uh, sub tool and then press e on your keyboard and then alt click on here and then just move this to the side and i, I just want us to compare these so essentially this is is the decimated one with 34 um, polygons and then this is the high res one with 700,000 uh, polygons as you can see we managed to retain a lot of details with just with, with just a few clicks actually we, you, you can see the amount of details we we're able to retain as you can see over here you can hardly pick this up if I turn off the polyframe, you can see each and every detail that we have still applies over here. So you can hardly tell the difference uh, unless you zoom very, very um, closely. And if you probably like chose 75, it should work fine. Like it should, like should um, retain uh, low poly and um, low triangles. Um, so basically now you can use this um, on the fly so 
you can use this without even applying any displacement maps or um, just applying your, your texture map so you, you can just export let's say you want to export everything now you can just go to let's say a multi map exporter and then just export your poly paint and then you should have everything right there without exporting these um, but then it, it, it like depends on your workflow and what you're looking for um to have so okay that's your decimation what are our let's check now our uvs remember we checked the keep keep uvs um button over here so if i go to morph uvs let's see how let's see our uv as you can see it kept everything so the border and everything but then it changed and reduced the number of polygons but then we still have our uvs so what's very nice about this um any maps that you exported like the displacement maps you can still apply them over here and then you can even have twice the details and any normal maps so it has so the decimated um uh, sub tool and the non-decimated sub tool with the, the, the high res one they share the same uvs so then that's very um that's very cool to have let's see how we're doing on the time um let's see how we're doing on the time let's see okay we still have a, a um four minutes left okay let's say you have like um okay let's let's hide this let's go over here uh, let's see which um okay let me let me select um, our uh, axes okay let's select this um yeah our c1 let's say everything is not working out for you so what you 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 can do also you can do a copy shift um control shift d you can do a, a copy of that sub tool and then let's go back to this one and then increase um the number the number of um the number of um to the highest um subdivision sorry so uh, it's kind of hard like hard for the decimation to keep all those micro details of these bones so what i found to be more precise than keeping the than using the, the poly paint also what i found to be more precise let's say you want to keep the color what you, you, you can do select this one you want to decimate and then hide this over here and then what you want to do just go to the highest subdivision over here and then uh, what you can do now it's turn, turn turn off this one and then if you click if you use um your decimation your decimation over here with the use and keep poly paint unchecked it will try to be more precise and not using the poly paint to help it um to pick up those details so how what i found and tested for these um for our workflow it, it it really helps if you have those tiny micro details you want to keep on your models and again it worked for us i, I don't know on your side but then this is how we done it for so for some models or for some sub tools for some bones we had to uncheck the use and keep poly paint and then um, we were able to keep some of those micro details that you guys can see on our bones right there so this this um should take some time but then if you want to be more precise and if you want to achieve um and achieve those details and if you want to keep those details i strongly advise this <laughs> and normally it takes long i'm not to be crazy like i i take the probably like sometimes i take the longest route in, in everything i do but then um for more precision i strongly advise you guys to um to to try this if you have those very very complex models like for example for our skull it has hd subdivision so we had to do this and, and you can see now everything is done so it tried to keep all those details as you can see over here so now once you're done with um, the decimation you can just um, open this over here and then you see now we don't have the, the, the poly paint um, color so we go down to project 
turn off geometry and then make sure your distance is at one and then this should project from the from the top sub tool and make sure your color is checked over here and then click click project project all so this should take the, the polypanes information color to this um, decimated one over here so this basically the same take the so you get like basically the almost the same result but then this is more precise than the first step we went through so that's what i have for today so um i strongly advise you guys if you wanna know if you wanna know something else you could you can just comment on the section below and then i'll probably do a, that certain tutorial we can um go through that so if you have any question or you unsure or you have like a specific subject that you want us to cover in zebrish or anatomy or human and animal anatomy um you can just comment on the section below and again i have to go for now it's adrian from asanatomy.com and i'll see you guys on the next one